Breaking this morning, a former church in North St. Louis City, more than 130 years old, goes up in flames overnight. We will show you the flames and take a look at the 85 firefighters, which had to battle for some time to get this blaze under control. We'll also hear about its impact on the surrounding community. Heat, humidity, poor air quality, and even thunderstorms into the weekend. We'll show you the future cast and the timeline of when some of the worst of the weather moves through. Cool down St. Louis, basically one thing, save lives. Dangerous conditions this morning as we expect temperatures to reach the triple digits. I'll explain how you can safely beat the heat today. And focused on your safety, the top five 4th of July dangers this holiday weekend. A one-way trip to St. Louis. Meet the man the Blues drafted with the 10th overall pick. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. We begin a very dry and dangerous day in St. Louis. This is a live look at the downtown area and as you can see, it's already 82 degrees. Mm -hmm. The heat is indeed the big story of the day in our city. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, June the 29th. I'm Renny Knott. And I'm Michelle Lee. Of course, we just want to say thanks for joining us, including those of you who might be watching us on 5 Plus. Good idea to keep the app uh, handy for any mm -hmm. kind of weather mm -hmm. alerts because we've just been talking about a lot of things in the last couple of days, air quality and also now the heat. Hydrate, hydrate, yeah. hydrate, hydrate. Let's get over to Anthony Slaughter right yes. now. As I said, it's already 80 plus degrees and humid outside. Yes, and we actually have thunderstorms that are firing up just north and east of St. Louis. So that's the other thing mm -hmm. that we will be watching as we head into the weekend. So as you make those weekend plans, we are watching thunderstorms, but also the dangerous heat and humidity will linger. Heat advisory, that's the first part of our forecast, and the excessive heat warnings just to our south, that's where it'll be even hotter, but numbers regardless will still be anywhere from 95 to 102 area-wide today. You see, the Doppler radar is showing thunderstorms just north and also to the east. We're on the fringes of that dome of high pressure that's been in Texas, and that's moving in, triggering those storms on the, again, far fringes County. So Pike County, you're in a severe thunderstorm watch this morning. Also Clay County on the Illinois side uh, until nine o'clock this morning. Those are the areas that could see rain everywhere else. We're dry, hot today up near 102. So this is dangerous heat and humidity for the day ahead. We'll track the weekend for you coming up in just a few minutes. Breaking overnight, about 85 firefighters were battling the heat along with this massive fire in North St. Louis. Just take a look at those flames there. So intense. Now, this is a 134-year-old uh, church. Yeah, it transformed into a popular skate park several years ago, but this morning we know that it is now destroyed. Alex Fees is joining us live in North St. Louis with what happened. Good morning, Alex. Hey, Renny Michelle, good morning. Excuse me, I'm turning around because I'm hearing falling noises. Some of the girders in what used to be the roof here are falling to the ground inside the church here. This massive fire overnight completely destroyed it. We'll give you a live look at what's left of the roof here at St. Laborious Church on Hogan Street in North St. Louis City. Skate Laborious Skate Park took over this building years ago and this morning that facility has been completely destroyed by fire. We'll show you the video from overnight. St. Louis Fire Chief Dennis Jankerson says it started about 1045 last night in the rectory section of the old church. And as you can see, the flames quickly took over, burning all the way up the church steeple, though that still stands this morning and lighting up the night sky. Just take a look at the fire engulfing this building. In my entire 30-year career in television news, this rivals any fire I've ever seen before. The massive five alarm blaze that turned into a five alarm blaze completely burned through the old church. Despite the extensive damage, fire crews do not believe anyone was hurt, and officials uh, do not yet know what started this fire. Our, our main priority here was we had some very uh, high hazard exposures here. We had the Hogan Street uh, Youth Facility Center, which was on this side of the building we had to protect, and it was taking a lot of heat and a lot of embers. And the embers that were moving this way to the north to some of the residential areas required hand lines and the ground monitors very quickly to be put in place. Now, officials here right across the street at the Hogan Street Youth Facility tell me they had to evacuate kids to the back of this building across the street overnight because they were afraid that church steeple behind me was going to collapse. Now, uh, there is a, a homeless shelter nearby as well. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear from the director of that homeless fa facility and also somebody who was inside overnight.
Live this morning in North City, Alex Fees, five on your side. Hey Alex, before you go, this wasn't just a case of the firefighters taking on the flames. They also had to battle the, the dry, hot conditions just in our atmosphere alone. Yeah, very much so, Rennie. A, a huge deployment of manpower and resources here overnight. And that on that subject of uh, dry, vacant facilities in, in the city, I spoke to Fire Chief Dennis Jankerson about that uh, recently. There are as many as 8,000 vacant buildings in the city of St. Louis. Firefighters in the process of documenting them, creating an inventory, so firefighters know what they're facing when they arrive on a scene like this in the middle of the night. All right, thank you, Alex. This skate park has been a pillar in the community for the past several years now. We've done a few stories about Skate Laborious and how it was a great place for younger kids to gather in North St. Louis. Here's what the inside looked like as the owners transformed the church into a skate park. You can see they brought new life to the historic landmark, which was also filled with local art. It was all DYI. We caught up with the founder of City of Hope St. Louis, which is the shelter next door, he talks about how impactful the skate park was for area youth. It's sad because it has a lot of rich history. Um, the guys that were uh, doing the skate park inside really cared about the community and the kids. Um, did a lot of programming for the kids uh, in this neighborhood and kids from all over. Uh, so it's sad to see that they are being affected by that. Overnight, Skate Laborious posted on social media asking for your support. They want to save the skate park. Right now, they have a GoFundMe to begin funding for the cleanup effort. We'll have a link on Five on Your Side on the app later today. We're also following more breaking news in North St. Louis. This is another fire just two blocks away from Skate Laborious. The St. Louis Fire Department says embers from the fire at the former church actually caused this vacant house to catch fire. This is on Warren and North Florissant. Dry conditions overnight made it harder for firefighters, as we've been telling you, to get those flames under control. We're going to stay on top of both of these fires all morning here on Today in St. Louis. But if you've got to leave, make sure that you've got the Five on Your Side app for all of the latest updates. In a few hours from right now, family and friends of a fallen firefighter will say their final goodbyes. The funeral for Lloyd Rudiger begins at 11 o'clock this morning. He'll be laid to rest at St. Paul's Catholic Church in the town of Berger. Rudiger died on Monday from a heart attack following responding to a house fire on Sunday. He served on the New Haven Berg Berger Fire Protection District for 59 years. Backstoppers is also helping his family. The nonprofit helps families of first responders who die in the line of duty or are seriously injured. You could donate by texting the word Backstoppers to 314-425-5355. Well, today we are expecting dangerous temperatures. We've been telling you about this all morning long, but with those high temperatures come an even higher risk of heat-related illness. Yeah. Our Sydney Stallworth is live for us in downtown West with some life-saving tips. Sydney? Well, Rennie, Michelle, it's only, what, 6 o'clock, and it's already at least 82 degrees out here, and I can tell you it feels much warmer than that. We're expecting a climb up into the triple digits, uh, probably 102 degrees today. It's going to feel hotter than that, and today it's really important to keep safety in mind because the Red Cross says that everyone is at risk of falling victim to heat-related illness if it's even just 90 degrees outside, and we're going to be much hotter. So we want to make sure that you know what to look for. Now, heat cramps are muscular pains and spasms, and an early sign that you might be overheating. Heat exhaustion is a mild form of shock and heat stroke. That's life threatening and it happens when the body can no longer cool itself. So here's what you do. If you come across somebody having heat stroke, call 911, get that person inside or maybe to some shade and remove any excess clothing that they have on. Try to cool them down with anything you look? can. Now anyone who's outside overexerting themselves or exposing themselves to these high temperatures over a long period of time can suffer from heat related illnesses today. People with chronic illnesses, the very young and elderly, are at a higher risk. Now, we caught up with St. Louis Fire Department to talk about signs of heat exhaustion that you need to look out for. So some of the symptoms of heat exhaustion and, uh, or heat stroke are uh, nausea, um, confusion. Uh, obviously, we're talk, if we talk about heat stroke, we're talking about unconsciousness, but heat exhaustion, profuse sweating, uh, elevated temperatures, uh, core temperatures, things of that nature. 
Now, every year, the St. Louis Fire Department tells Five on Your Side that every year, at least a few people die in the city of St. Louis from heat related illnesses. Now, in our next half hour, I'll tell you how the department was able to get a local retiree working AC ahead of today's extreme temperatures that we're going to see. But for now, let's go back into the studio, get to Anthony for the forecast. Anthony, people need to have that AC on and working today. Yeah, absolutely. And then we ever hear those deaths happening, you know, we always think, oh, that is so preventable. Uh, and that's why we continue to remind you each and every year until we get those deaths down to zero. Uh, along with the dangerous heat and humidity, we also have air quality alerts once again for today. We are in the yellow category for now, which is moderate air quality, but we do go back into the orange later on, uh, just like we had yesterday in the afternoon. So while it won't look like it did yesterday in the atmosphere, we do have that potential of the haze building up with the high temperatures and the humidity as well. Numbers today and tomorrow will be near 100 degrees, but I put the future cast on here to show you that we have thunderstorms around as well. Not only today, north and south, but also through tomorrow and look at Saturday, just widespread storms. So the heat, the humidity and even isolated storms into the weekend. And that's the summertime pattern we're so used to this time of year. We'll track the 4th of July right around the corner coming up. Speaking of getting around the corner, you got to get out the door this morning. Paul's here to get you up to speed with our traffic. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning, Anthony. A few things to know about before you hit the road in Pacific. We have an emergency vehicle here, of course, a fire truck. There were a few more there, 44 eastbound. Definitely something to know about because you know how we can get very bogged down, 44 at 109. Now, you see the one cone here. That's the construction that was going on actively at 6 a.m. This is what you're going to start seeing at 7 a.m. And that area along 40. We'll keep an eye on it. Of course, construction, active workers out there. Dangerous if you're going too fast and could cause delays. More traffic coming soon, Rennie. Coming up, an increase in violence in St. Louis. The new report showing which crimes involving kids are going up. Taxes in Illinois are about to go up. I'm going to break down how much more you'll have to pay at the grocery store and the gas station. And the Blues get a brand new forward in the NHL draft. Meet the new center and why he's excited to come here to St. Louis.